everybody, today I'm going to be comparing the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus for ASMR and comparing it to the legendary Blue Yeti. First we're going to compare the specs of these microphones, then we're going to do some testing with multiple different ASMR triggers including whispering, tapping, mouth sounds, and liquid shaking. And at the end I'll give you my summary of these two microphones. Neither of these microphones have been sent to me and nobody's paying for me to make this video. Now let's address the elephant in the room. This is not an ASMR microphone. It's made for vlogging slash run and gun video, that type of work. However, there are still things this microphone can do for ASMR that this one can't, such as mobility. You can take this microphone pretty much anywhere. You just put it on top of the camera, plug it in, and you're good to go. There's no syncing audio. There's no bringing around separate recorders. There's none of that. And you don't even need a stand for it like this big Blue Yeti. So if you're doing any type of outdoor recording or anything like that, this would be a better option. Also, this being a shotgun microphone, you get a lot more directional sound versus this does stereo. I don't believe this one does stereo at all. So this one can do stereo, you can do omnidirectional uh, pickup patterns. So for that, it just comes down to personal preference. Do you want the directional mic or do you want the omnidirectional mic with the stereo and all that stuff? Another thing is this has a low pass filter of 75 hertz and 150 hertz as well as a high pass filter. However, nowadays most editing software has that, so take that for what it's worth. As for other features, this has a gain knob and a headphone jack whereas this one has no headphone jack, although depending on the camera you have, you could still get audio out through the built-in camera headphone jack, I believe. But this microphone also has a plus 20 decibel setting, as well as a minus 10 dB pad. Okay, so now that the specs are out of the way, let's get on to some triggers.
Okay, so now that you've got a chance to hear the sounds from both of these microphones with a range of different objects, I'll give you my opinion on them. This one is much more high fidelity or clear sounding to me, and you can hear more of what's going on in my opinion. Whereas this one doesn't really seem to get all the intricate details the way this one does. Now keep in mind, that's not what this microphone is for, but in the context of ASMR, which is what this video is about, I'd say if you're doing studio work or in indoor, basically with a setup like this, get the Blue Yeti. It's going to be much better. You're going to get clearer audio. You have all those pickup patterns, stereo, real-time headphone monitoring, and I think you're going to be really happy with it. But if you already have one of these, I really don't see that much of a reason to buy a Blue Yeti. I think you should be good with this. In fact, I actually kind of like the sound from this, even though it's not the super high fidelity, super crisp audio like this one. I actually like this a lot for ASMR. And like I said earlier, if you're going to be outside or taking this around, this is much easier to work with and much more mobile than this one is. And in the end, it really all comes down to personal preference. If you want clear audio in a studio type environment, get this one. If you want mobile, easy to use, maybe even a little bit lo-fi ASMR, get this one. And if you already have this one, you'll be fine. I hope you enjoyed that little comparison between these two mics. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.